Hi, everyone, and welcome to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. Wendy has spent the last two years helping women with various stages of endometriosis to heal naturally after putting her condition into remission. After her own healing success from stage four endometriosis and adenomyosis, she's inspired to heal others, and her goal is to help some of the 175 million women know that there is another way other than painkillers, drugs, or surgery. This is the place to be for real talk with real people for real results so you can learn how to heal your endometriosis naturally. Please note that the opinions expressed in this program may represent options but are not a substitute for proper medical care. Before starting any new healthcare program, we recommend you consult with a health professional. Hey everyone, it's Wendy K. Laidlaw here from Heal Endometriosis Naturally. And as always, I hope that this message finds you well. Now, I mentioned in my last podcast how I'd become aware that I felt some resistance to doing my podcast, which you know, really surprised me. But um, it's, it's so interesting, isn't it? When we suddenly become aware of things that you enjoy, suddenly you find a resistance to, and then before you know it, through exploration, you establish that actually somebody's kind of left a little bit of a mark on you, a little bit of a a discomfort on you, and you find yourself uh, swaying away from that. Um, Well, I just wanted to talk about, um, you know, again, following on from that, I'd had, um, you know, become aware that there's certain people out there you know, masquerading because it's now viewed as big business endometriosis, which just makes my skin crawl. Um, And there's a lot of people, a lot of good people out there doing good work and sharing good information. And equally, there's a lot of people out there who are just jumping on a bandwagon and taking advantage of women who are desperate and frightened and, and, and wanting support. And again, I can't want to view these podcasts as informational, educational, and inspirational and and just to keep you aware i mean at the end of the day if you're listening to this podcast as i've said before then you're you're a unique type of woman there's an innate part of you that recognizes there is a natural ability to heal and um and there's various ways of of uh, tuning into that natural ability and how, how do you get there in the fastest way possible now i do have to caution this is not a quick fix approach you know if you've been on any of my programs or read my book it takes at least six months to 12 months minimum to really uh, reverse repair and regenerate those cells that are in your body and identify the root causes and under underlying inflammation but what occurred to me was again coming back to the misinformation that's out there and all the myths is um, I can I can see those people sort of talking about nutritional therapy as being the the be all and end all. And and this was kind of like one of the elements that I uh, made my mistakes on. If you can learn from my mistakes, you'll see years, if not decades, is thinking that this condition can be uh, supported or healed or put into remission by just focusing on one element. Now, I did retrain in nutritional therapy and I thought it was really ed- educational and really infor- in- informative. And, and I loved learning about all the vitamins and minerals and the proteins, amino acids, all these different elements. And I think that's really, really important. But if you're not getting the results that you see just from looking at the nutritional element or the diet element, then please do not despair. Because for me, it took the five P's, the five poisons for me to look at in depth and over over a period of time before I was able to put my condition into remission. And I just wanted to jump on here again today to say, you know, please don't be despairing because again, even with the diet, there's a lot of misinformation, you know, um, from a nutrition perspective, I've, I've seen and I've heard and I've had uh, invariably the ladies that, that start uh, working uh, with my team, you know, we, we take a lot of sort of front end information and, and see, you know, what people are taking, what they're being told. And what tends to happen is there's a lot of misinformation in there. There's so much information that people haven't, you know, haven't been able to, to, cut the the wheat from the chaff, as they say. Now, equally, there's people out there who haven't got rid of the pain, who haven't put the condition in remission, who still suffer every month as well. So again, be very careful who you're getting your information from. You know, you clearly, I think Tony Robbins says, you know, uh, follow the people who already have achieved full success and then walk in their footsteps. My problem was I, in the beginning, I was bouncing around speaking to all sorts of different people um, and wasn't speaking to the, the people who had achieved the results that I sought. Now, ultimately, 
if you're getting information from somebody and they're saying it's just diet and you're not getting the results that you see, please do not despair. As you know, the five P's are produce, which is your food, you know, what you consume and your nutrition. And then there's products, what you put on your skin, your hair, your nails, your face, etc. Then there's property, which is obviously the environmental elements, Wi-Fi, sick building syndrome, all sorts of different elements. Then there's people. As I've mentioned many times in my podcast, there's a lot of toxic, poisonous people out there. And you may just be a beautiful, big hearted endometriosis woman and feel even guilty identifying these toxic people. Please don't feel guilty. They are who they are. And they, that's not your fault that they are toxic. And then there's the past. There may well have been incidents, uh, trauma, large trauma, small trauma, uh, you know, all, uh, w- w- whatever size you want to put on it, it may well be stored down in your subconscious and, you know, triggering your immune system or triggering your nervous system, you know, when it's being reactivated by a sight or a sound or a smell or an environment or a person indeed as well. So again, I, you know, as I say, I, the, the women that tend to be drawn to me are incredibly big hearted, beautiful women who have sadly ended up beating themselves up because they've been around, um, or got information or been around different people that haven't been uh, perceptive enough to understand the wider picture. And I just want you to understand that this is, you know, an emotional journey as well as the physical journey. So for a lot of women who've had the condition for a long time or are in severe pain with it or have cysts and things like that, there's the emotional component over and above the produce and the products and the property. There invariably are people and past elements too. And it kind of makes sense if, if you... If you are listening to this podcast, you're, you're probably a woman who had, does a lot of reading and, and expansion and training and learning anyway. And you understand that any condition that shows up in the body, um, there is a cause and effect and there's dis-ease. There's dis-ease subconsciously. It took me a long time to really get my head around all of that. I was hugely resistant. I felt it was a bit nonsense and I was a bit sniffy about it all. What I'm, what I'm sharing with you is, is that we are living, sensitive, intuitive, perceptive women. And for whatever's going on in the past or what's going on in the present is invariably showing up through your body. Your body is kind of like the thermometer and the barometer of what's either happened in the past or in the present. And it takes a bit of time and some women do need support. So please, if you do need support, don't see it as a sign of weakness to reach out. And there's many levels of support as well. And this, I hope, This podcast is a form of um, support for you all as well. But understand that it's not just about nutrition. And I think um, I thought it was just about nutrition. And if you've read my book and read my story, you know that that it did help initially swapping out wheat and things like that. But then other things uh, sort of came along that I wasn't aware of that increased the estrogen in my body and caused, you know, the thyroid issues and the cysts and the uh, chronic fatigue syndrome and endometriosis and adenomyosis. So again, I just want you to, to, to understand that um, it, whilst it's a very uh, simple process in which to, you know, the ladle protocols are a simple process of quite a methodical process, uh, there are sometimes some complex layers that we need to get down into because of the defense, superb defense mechanisms that we've had in place for, for years, for decades. So as I say, if you are a woman um, of any age, any background, any religion, any skin color, anywhere in the world, and you've been, been to see your know, nutritionist, dietitian, naturopath, functional medicine, or anyone like that, and they're saying it's just diet, chances are they don't fully understand the complexity of the condition. Um, and I say it's a bit of an oxymoron. It's quite simple when you know what to look for and you know uh, what to identify. And equally, it's quite complex when you don't. So I don't want you feeling, uh, I know that there's some women have reached out to us as the team feeling overwhelmed. A, like, what, what do I eat? What don't I eat? How come my condition's not getting better? I've swapped out wheat, I've swapped out dairy, I don't eat soy anymore. So again, I'm here to reassure you, it's that there's probably more in, in the deeper layers of what's going on in your body and your mind and your soul and in your spirit and in your life than you're aware of right now. And the quickest way for really for you to identify that is to come back to your journaling. You know, I say this a lot, but believe me, it's one of the most important elements for really getting past your defense mechanisms, your consciousness down into your subconscious 
to get a sense of what's going on. Now, as I say, that journey is not particularly easy because we have all these defense mechanisms in place and we need a nice safe environment in which we feel that people really get us, understand us, love us, feel us so that we can allow ourselves to go that little bit deeper. So the final message is don't despair if you've changed your diet and things aren't working for you. Um, either go back and read my book. I've got a new cookbook coming out. Uh, well, I say new. It's a second edition, but it's almost like a completely new cookbook coming out um, in the next wee while. So again, designed to, to kind of help you on the on getting clear on on what worked for me and what works for the women I work with. And again, that's something you can refer back to. But equally, if there's people telling you that um, you know it's a nutritional thing and and that's the only thing and that's not working for you, please don't despair. There is another way. So as always, keep looking after yourself. Keep you number one and to your health. Thanks for listening to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and rate us. If you're interested in learning more, you can download your top five jumpstart tips at healendometriosisnaturally.com and jump on the VIP email list. Remember to keep you number one. The world needs a healthy you.